We are going with the flow here on PPMA TV now, and I'm joined by Luke from Top Flow to talk about some of the latest advancements in pumping technology. Luke, thank you very much for joining us on PPMA TV. Um, before we talk about Top Flow, tell me what tell me what this is, because this is literally a, a leap ahead when it comes to pumping technology, isn't it? Yeah. So this is our low energy air pump um, leap. Uh, this pump will actually run at 0.2 bar you get zero pulsation when it's at low pressures. To put that into perspective, a standard pump will start at around 1.2 bar. And what's the benefit then? I mean, obviously, low, low air pressure. Why? What's, why what, how's that going to make a difference to, to, to my factory? OK, so the background behind LEAP is actually because air is such an expensive commodity on site. People want to come away from that. So we've, we've noticed that. And because we sell air pumps, um, it's not a market that we want to lose. Um, so because of that, we've designed this and it can save you up to 70 percent in compressed air. So it's a huge, huge number, especially if you're running your pump 24 hours a day, 48, 48 hours, you know, 72 hours a week, you know, you're going to use a lot of air. Um, so with this, you're going to save massive, massive uncompressed air. Tell me a bit about top flow then. Obviously, pumps are where you're at. Uh, which industries do you find this being used in and what are the industries that you service? Okay, so we're a manufacturer of process pumps. Uh, we're in a wide variety of, of industries, food, food and beverage, we're quite big in. Um, that's a sanitary pump there, so it's polished. Um, we're in chemical industry, oil and gas. You know, anything where a product is being moved from one place to another, if it pumps, we're, we'll pump it. Yeah. <laughs> You're in the middle. You're in the middle of all of that. Whereabouts your base? Uh, Southampton. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And you've been around for a little while. Yeah. Yeah. We've been around almost 25 years as a company in the UK. Um, we we are originally from Sweden, and now we're in 85 countries. Yeah. And it, um, again, just because I got being my bonnet about it, this is easy to maintain, easy to clean and sanitise as well. Easiest on the market. Um, we have about 60% less parts than the industry standard. Um, so on this pump, you literally have six or seven tie rods. You pull it apart, you're in the pump. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And you're in, you've got all the main components in there. You've got your diaphragms, your valve balls, you clean them out, you change them. It's rare that you have to change them because of the quality of our parts, but when you do, it's very easy. Well, you've certainly sold me on this. I'll have two later on, please. Uh, let's have a look at another revolutionary pump over here. Uh, this is your, well, I'm guessing Albin Pump is the name that comes into this somewhere, but for the uninitiated, uh, initiate me, Luke. Yeah, no worries. So this is manufactured by a company called Albin Pump. Tapflow have distributed for Albin Pump now for 15 years. Um, they are a manufacturer of peristaltic hose pumps. Yeah. Now this one's quite special because it's for the food and beverage industry in particular. Um, it's a CIP pump, which means clean in place. Now as standard, a uh, peristaltic pump, if I was to stop that there, this part of the hose is compressed. And just the, 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 the peristaltic bit? This, yeah. I think of that like my peristatic system in my body when I'm swallowing and you, th this, is the, this refers to the hose pipe that goes around the outside, doesn't it? It's almost like a tube of toothpaste. Yeah. If you've got a tube of toothpaste and you go like that, it's going to come out the other end. And with the revolution here, yeah. you are so pumping from one to another. And it compresses it, which causes a vacuum. It then pushes it round and out the other side. It's simple okay. That's, that's the engineering 101 bit, but what's different about this? So this one here, if you're in a food or beverage industry and you want to clean this hose, yeah. this part of the hose is always compressed. Yeah. So that there is quite flat. That means if I'm flushing CIP, cleaning place, fluid through it, it's, there's a chance there that it might not get where that hose is compressed. It might not get all in there and clean it all completely. Um, so what we've developed is this pump here. If I was to run that now, it will go into reverse and the spring-loaded shoes will actually drop down. So if I stop that now, that's actually half compressed is what it was. So it's a lot more open. You can flush your CIP through it and it's going to make sure it's all clean inside, which is there's nothing like that on the market today. Again, that is satisfying to be in my bonnet. I've got this year about making sure that products are easy to maintain, easy to keep clean as yeah, well. Exactly. Fantastic. Well, if you've got something that's being pumped for human consumption, yeah. you don't want any risk of there being any nasty bacteria in there. Yeah. So cleaning is imperative. Fantastic. I made that key here in this product totally behind you on that. Uh, listen Luke, before we go, tell me about, about the PPMA show this year. It's been another fa fantastic year from me walking around the show floor. How's your experience of it been? Yeah, so PPMA this year, we're hoping it's going to top, top last year. Last year was brilliant for us. Um, this year already seems like we've got some good leads, um, met some really interesting people, so we're really, really feeling positive about it this year. Really feeling positive. Fantastic. Uh, listen, Luke from Taplow, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Hope you have a great rest of show. Yeah, no worries. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you very much.